Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about what are standing waves, how they are formed, and then derive the equations of standing wave and talk about nodes and antinodes in it. So let's get started. Here, you can see a standing wave. It does not travel from one point of a medium to other like a progressive wave, but oscillates in a fixed region of the medium with varying amplitude. It is also known as stationary wave. Now, how they are formed? You can see in the figure how a stationary wave is formed. It is formed by the interference between two progressive waves having same frequency and amplitude traveling with same speed in opposite direction. Here, you can see two progressive waves Y1 and Y2 that are traveling in opposite direction with same speed having same frequency and amplitude. Actually, the wave Y2 is just a reflection of wave Y1 due to some obstacle in the path of wave Y1. The interference between these two waves results the formation of stationary waves. Now, the displacement of resulting stationary wave is obtained by the principle of superposition of waves. According to principle of superposition of waves, y equals to y1 plus y2 where y is the displacement of resultant standing wave and y1 and y2 are the displacements of individual progressive waves but we have the equations of progressive waves are y1 equals to a sine omega t minus kx since the wave is traveling from left to right the sign between omega t and kx is negative and the equation for the displacement of reflected wave is y2 equals to a sin omega t plus kx now substituting these values in y equals to y1 plus y2 we have y equals to a sin omega t minus kx plus a sin omega t plus kx on solving these two equations, this equation, we get the result y equals to 2a sin omega t cos kx. Now, this is the required equation of our standing wave. This equation can also be written as y equals to a sin omega t, where capital A equals to 2a cos kx is the amplitude of a resulting standing wave. Here you can see the amplitude of resultant standing wave is not constant but varies with x. So at different positions of the wave amplitude of vibration of particles are different. Now what we are going to do next is Find the position of nodes and antinodes in the standing wave. Here you can see at some points of the standing wave the vibration of the wave is completely destroyed and the amplitude of vibration is zero. Here point 1, point 2 and point 3 have zero vibration and these points are known as nodes. Also there are some points in the wave which oscillate with maximum vibration. These particles vibrate with maximum amplitude. These points are known as antinodes. Now we are going to find the position of nodes and antinodes in a standing wave. For nodes, amplitude of vibration of a standing wave A equals to 0, which means 2A cos Kx equals to 0 which gives the result kx equals to 2n plus 1 pi by 2 here the value of n is 0 1 2 and so on now we know k is a constant called wave number n has the value 2 pi over lambda on substituting that this value in this equation we get 2 pi over lambda times x equals to 2n plus 1 times pi by 2. 
from this we get x equals to 3n plus 1 times lambda by 4 for n equals to 0 1 2 3 and so on this gives the position of nodes in a standing wave you can see for for the value 0 of n we have the position 1 when the value of n is 0 x is equal to lambda by 4 and which is the position of point 1 and and for n equals to 1 we get the value x equals to 3 lambda over 4 which is the position of point 2 and for n equals to 2 we get x equals to 5 lambda over 4 which is the position of point 3 and if we put the greater values of yon in this equation we get another points for x here you can see one two three points all are the position of nodes now let's move towards the position of anti nodes for anti nodes the amplitude of vibration of particles of the wave should be maximum which is two times the amplitude of vibration of ind individual progressive waves so a equals to plus minus 2a here positive and negative signs are taken because amplitude of vibration can be uh, vibration can be above the mean line or below the mean line so which gives the results on solving kx equals to n pi again substituting k equals to 2 pi over lambda we get 2 pi over lambda x equals to n pi from this equation we get x equals to n lambda over 2 for n equals to 0 1 2 3 and so on so substituting this value of x sorry this value of n in this equation we get various positions of antinodes here x gives the position of antinodes let's put n equals to 0 in this equation we get x equals to 0 at x equals to 0 at x equals to 0 here at initial point we have maximum displacement which is antinode and on putting n equals to 1 we have x equals to lambda by 2 which is half wavelength let's see at the point of half wavelength we have at half wavelength point the maximum displacement occurs here also so this point is also called antinode which is point B on putting n equals to 2 similarly we obtain the point C and so on for larger values of n so in this way x equals to n lambda by 2 gives the position of antinodes in a standing wave and x equals to 2n plus 1 times lambda by 4 gives the position of nodes in a standing wave so this is it